Today we're talking about similar figures. And what you need to know about similar figures is that they have the same shape, but they don't necessarily have the same size. So here I have a right triangle that is this size. I have the same right triangle over here that I have enlarged. These are similar figures because they are the same shape, just not the same size. And again, two rectangles, same shape, not necessarily the same size. Okay, what you need to know about similar figures is that they have corresponding sides and they also have corresponding angles. What that means is the side I have here in black is proportional to the side I have here in black because they are the same side. They represent the same side of both angles. So the red is proportional to this red. The green is proportional to this green. The black angle is proportional to the black angle. The blue angle is proportional to the blue angle. And the green angle is proportional to the green angle. They are proportional. So if this were 1 and this were 2, then this, if this were 2, this would be 4 because I enlarged it by the same amount. They are proportional. Okay, so here I have two similar triangles. I know that the triangles are similar if their corresponding angles, remember the blue angles are the same, the black angles are the same, the green angles are the same, and the length of the corresponding sides have equal ratios. So if this side, the red side is, let's just call it 2, this red side is 4, well, that means that this black side could be 3, but this black side would have to be 6. Because I need the two red sides, that's 2 over 4, to be equal to 3 over 6. And using cross products, 4 times 3 is 12, 6 times 2 is 12, I know that these are equal ratios. Therefore, these are corresponding triangles. Again, figures are similar if they're corresponding angles, black, black, blue, blue, green, green, and the length of their corresponding sides, red, red, black, black, green, green, have equal ratios. Okay, so this ratio that I get when comparing their sides, 2 to 4, ends up becoming my scale factor. My scale factor is simply the number that, the ratio that I enlarged with or the ratio that I reduced with, depending on what my new shape is. If I'm going from this shape to this shape, it's an enlargement. But if I'm going from this shape to this shape, it becomes a reduction. So my scale factor is what I multiplied by or what I divided by to shrink or enlarge the other figure. My scale factor for this one is two-fourths, or you would reduce that and call that one to two, or a half. So how would I go about interpreting that? Well, I know that this triangle is half the size of this triangle. So I could divide by two to go from here to here. And if I wanted to go from here to here, I would need to multiply by two. Okay, another way that you can find a missing side is to set up a proportion. And that would just mean that I would pick two sides from this one, which I'm going to put it's, um, because this is the missing side, I have to use the 7 to set up my, my ratios, my equal ratios. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this red side and I'm going to say 2 to the other red side, which is 4. So basically, I have little triangle over big triangle is equal to little triangle, so 7, the green side, over x, which is the green side from the other triangle. Again, little triangle to big triangle. My top two numbers, or my numerators, are both from the little triangle. My denominators are both from the big triangle. And now I've set up a proportion, and it's just a matter of cross-multiplying and dividing. So 4 times 7 is 28, and that's going to be equal to 2 times x, which is 
2x. When I divide both sides by 2, I discover that my missing length, x, is equal to 14. Okay, so here I have two triangles, and I want to know if they're similar. That means they have to have the same, the corresponding angles have to be the same measurement, and the corresponding sides have to be, represent the same ratio, or they have to be proportional to one another. So let's go ahead and look to see. First of all, I notice that the shapes are not quite the same, but does that mean I just need to flip one to be able to tell? Because this one I could turn, and then it would be facing the same way. Well, let's check out the angles. I have a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. So that means that angle U is, is um, congruent to angle X. Okay, let's look at angle W. Well, you'll notice I have a 37 degree angle here and a 37 degree angle here. So that means that angle W is congruent to angle Y. And that means that angle, oops, forgot to label that one. Angle Z must be congruent to angle V. Angle Z is congruent to angle V. So all of my angles are equal. So now I need to test to see if the length of my corresponding sides have equal ratios. Well, the trick is, is again, I need to flip this in my mind so that they go together. So remember, angle Z is the same as angle V, angle X is the same as angle U, and angle Y is the same as angle W. So I need to pick some sides here. I'm going to look at X. Z, and it should be the same as UV. Well, angle XZ is 12, not the same, I'm sorry. It should give me an equal ratio. Angle 12 is the same. Line XZ, I'm going to put that over line UV, so this can be 12 over 9. So now I need to pick another set of sides. Remember, I put the big triangle on top over here and the little triangle on bottom here. That means I have to put the big triangle on top here and the little triangle on top here. So let's see if we can find another one. So I have 12 over 9. Let's go with... WV. And I have to put that on bottom because I'm getting that from the little triangle. So WV is 15, putting WV is the same as YZ, and that's 20. So now all we're going to do is cross multiply to see if these are actually, if the ratios are equal. Okay, just to remind you, I took the 12 from this side, which means I had to take the 9 from the same side, the corresponding side of the other triangle. Because I took the 12 from this one, my top number on the other ratio had to be from this triangle. So I took this side, which means that I had to pick this side for my bottom number, my denominator. So let's go ahead and cross multiply and see what we get. Well, 9 times 20 is 180. And 15 times 12 is 180. Okay, this means that the corresponding sides, UV, XZ, ZY, WV, are proportional, or they're, they have equal ratios. We really need to test out one more side just to make sure that this is true. So we're going to go, I'm going to use the 12 over 9 again because that worked. And remember, 12 came from my big triangle. So I need to use the 16 from my big triangle. And my 9 came from the little triangle. So I need to use the same side 